episode of the Be Bold Show. They call me Robot Man on campus. I actually take things that people have thrown away. I just start erecting the structure, building it. It might be robots, houses, cars, anything that comes to mind. Giving taste to waste, David Asomenin shows us his scrap robots. Music producer Kill Beats and so much more coming up now. Welcome once again everybody to the Bebold Show. We have a super exciting show for you today. Today's episode is all about technology and innovation. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about that. Now, one thing that I don't know about you, Esther, but who do you know that uses internet that doesn't know Wikipedia? Uh, I think everybody knows Wikipedia. <laughs> it's like the search engine numero uno, sort of. But have you ever thought about who is behind Wikipedia? Who puts all the information up there and how does that work? Well, if you are as interested as we are, then you will be very excited for this guest. Welcome to the show, Be Boulders. We're here at the Choco Pan Cafe, and I'm sitting with the beautiful Sandra Sate. Um, welcome. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> So tell, tell me about yourself. Um, who is Sandesta Tay? Well, Sandesta Tay is um, many things, but uh, I say I'm a social media consultant, an entrepreneur. I don't like using that word often, but I guess that's what I am. Um, I have my own business and I work for someone else too. So I guess I'm, I have three things going for me right now. Social media, having my own business as a social media consultant, I also help out, I volunteer for Planning Wikimedia Ghana. We are a group of people trying to get Ghanaians to edit and contribute Ghanaian content specifically to Wikipedia. And then I also have a job in a pharmaceutical company. So I have these three things going for me and these define me. That's a lot. How do you multitask and uh, handle everything? Um, the first thing is I want these things. And wanting is just what keeps me going. You want something, you have to go get it. It's just as simple as that. So how did you decide that I'm going to work in social media and Wikipedia and all this? How did you just figure out that that's what you wanted to do? Um, at age 19, I realized that I had an interest in writing. And one thing I know is when you have an interest in writing, always you want to be heard. And when you want to be heard, the moment you are introduced to social media, you catch on fast. Out of your, um, out of your curiosity, curiosity for Wikipedia, that you fell into uh, working with them. I was actually invited via Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Um, one someone day, found, someone found you and decided yeah, that. I think it's because since it's on Twitter, I think the first thing found out found me out through my tweets, maybe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just joined the group. I contributed what I could. Wow, the power of social media. Yeah, of social media. <laughs> um, so how do you feel about the Ghanaian presence on Wikipedia? I mean, information specific to Ghana. Uh, what is it like in your opinion? Um, for information specific to Ghana, I think a lot of the articles are, you, you, they, you can't rate them too high because there's lack of information. Yeah. But let's say you compare President John Mahama's article to Obama, mm -hmm. you see the difference. Americans have stepped up to it, they've owned the page, and they make sure that the page is as informative and useful to whoever wants to access it for research as much as possible. You seen the Gunnam Style article yeah. on Wikipedia? Okay. <laughs> when you compare it to that of Azonto, okay. no, Azonto doesn't match up to it. So. This year, we have plans, now that we have linked to ghanamusic.com, I mean, ghanamusic.com has like lots of information on Ghanaian music. So one thing about Wikipedia is you need to have a source. You can just put information there and then leave it like that. You need to attribute it to someone or a website or a journal or a book. So since we have that source from ghanamusic.com, we can always fall, fall on that. So we are trying to raise the standard of the Asunto article. Not just that article, for all articles in Ghana, but I mean, we move one article at a time. 
So, yeah. What's the best article you've ever written that you loved, you enjoyed researching and posting? And well, that article is still in the works, but uh, I visited Apusombo. There's um, a place, a chapel there called Santa Barbara or Saint Barbara. Um, I do know that that church has a monument for the those who were constructing the Akosombo Dam mm -hmm. that died. Trust me, I looked everywhere online for information about that church, that little church on top of Akosombo. There was nothing. So I had to go to the University of Ghana, move from library to library. Finally, I landed a book that had some information on the, the people, that not just the dam, but the people that built it and those who died building it. So yeah, I started an article with the information. And then, yeah, so that's one article that I, I mean, I started it, so I really feel good about it. And I haven't had time to visit it these days, but when I do, I'm going to see that, see to it that it's completed. And this bit of history that's so hidden, you know, just come out, yeah. And how, how important is it to you, not just for putting information out there safe, but how important is it for you that, you know, hidden parts of our history, parts of the Ghanaian culture, parts of the Ghanaian people, are on these um, social service yeah. engines. Every day, people are talking about how we're losing our culture. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes I, I want to tell these people to take it easy because the culture doesn't change and it's not dynamic. It's not really culture. Yeah. <laughs> so um, change we will, but um, sometimes you know your past should be archived mm -hmm. so that you know you can look at yourself today and look at yourself back then. Mm -hmm. So it is very important that we do that. It's, it's important to me that we do that. And some of these things, you might need them for future reference. Um, you might need them for future reference. Like let's say in the present, you need to do something. You, you have to read this as a path. So in the future, when you need such information, it should be there for you, I think. Yeah, it should be there. What is um, Wikimedia? Because I know I've seen Wikimedia and then I've seen Wikipedia. So for the average signing who doesn't understand, can you differentiate that for us? Um, Wikimedia Foundation is the parent organization behind Wikipedia and other wikis like Wikipedia. So how big is it in Ghana? In Ghana, it's not that big, I should say. It's just um, a group of, uh, we, we are about 30 now. So I know you, you're volunteering for this, so you don't make anything, you don't make any money out of it. Yes, we do not make any money. We're not paid money, like cash, take this for editing this. No, not at all. So in that case, you make your income from working at the pharmaceutical company. And my social media, Tay Inc., yeah, bet. So Tay Inc., tell me about Tay Inc. Yeah, Tay Inc. is, um, me and my dad and then those of course that we have helping us do things uh, my dad has a lot of experience in printing but he came on retirement recently and i just told him dad you have all this experience you shouldn't let it go like that you're still strong you're still healthy so i mean you should do something with it and then i told him that okay if you were going to go into printing i also know social media and it's very you know as 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 an individual I need a company to back me. I would have set up my own company anyway, but since he is into printing and I'm also into social media, we, we can partner and then come up with Tay Inc. I came up with the name. He said he liked it. We got ourselves registered. So now we provide three services, um, social media consulting mm -hmm. and then printing mm -hmm. and then e-publishing. So in order to get the average Ghanaian onto um, social media. Can you help us figure out what kind of social media suits the different genres of people? For example, what, what's important for a student to be on, for a young professional looking for a job, or for a business starting up and wanting to really advertise their presence. So which one should they really look at and why? Um, Facebook is entry level. Like Anyone can get to Facebook. It serves all forms of um, strategy. If you want to go visual, if you want to, want to go text, video, um, just links, whatever it is, Facebook will serve you. And then I said Facebook first 
for every kind of person wanting to get into social media because it's more popular than Google Plus. But if not, Facebook and Google Plus have features that can take anything you want to do. But LinkedIn is more for professionals. So professionals can run to LinkedIn. Um, I have had people contacting me via LinkedIn for job offers. So I always tell my friends, if you have a LinkedIn page, please make it look as good as you can. Spend some time off Facebook and go address your, your, your LinkedIn page. That is what is gonna get you jobs. So for the professionals, LinkedIn. And then for Twitter, you still have a lot of talking to do. That's what I use. I think Twitter is for a lot of talking and a lot to share. Now, at least, I can say that you, if you are interesting, as you said, you have things to say. A celebrity? Why not? A politician? Yes, you can take to Twitter. And Instagram, of course. Yeah, Instagram for photographers or even journalists. You can use Instagram for so much more. To let your voice be heard and at least you, you can also, whilst you're talking, you can show what you're talking about. So we've come to the end of our interview with Sadez Tate, and I don't know about you, but I've been absolutely inspired by everything that she does. COO of Tay Inc. and the Operations Manager for Planning Wikimedia uh, Ghana. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you learned some valuable lessons about social media and the value of social media. Uh, I'll so, how did you how did you find that? I mean, it's I can't believe it's a social media. Like it's something I never thought yeah. of like that at all. Yeah. So anyone can just really go on if you're registered, you log in, then you can edit anyone's um, write up if you okay. feel like they left out some information or spelling spelling or grammar errors. But why would you want to do that? That's my question, because why would you want to... Well, I guess maybe if it's a, a disease and you're a doctor mm -hmm. and you found out some Discovered new research something or new. something, yeah, mm -hmm. you can add it on. But then the question is, does that make Wikipedia a reliable source? Because we were talking about the fact that when you're in university, you cannot quote Wikipedia as a source if you're writing an essay or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are people who, like I said, who come and check what you've written and they've done research themselves and so yeah. to an extent yes it's pretty reliable. Yeah. <laughs>